Yeah, I reckon so far so good. Like this is probably my first breakout season. So yeah, getting regular game time under gas, which has been good. So yeah, now the results are coming. So slowly, fingers crossed, we can make the top six. Armiento, early cross, Economides. Yeah, he came up to me after the game. I think he gave me one, but I didn't score. So I gave him one back and he put it in the back of the net. <laughs> this is uh, my mentor actually. So yeah, Chris. I love yeah, I think Chris gave me a ball against, I think it was Wellington and I missed and he gave me a little bit stick for it. So I gave him one back to see if he'd score and he scored. So yeah, Chris is one nil up. I bought him lunch the next day, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, call him Quadzilla. That's the gym. He's the best. See, my favourite player. They give me a bit of stick for my, my biggish player. legs, but yeah. Hey, I say to him, that's where I get my power from. And maybe get it on target, but I say, if I put enough power on it, it keeps not going to save it. But yeah, one of them will go in. Yeah, or kill someone. Yeah, or kill someone. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Coming from Adelaide, you always want to play against them, especially for me, because I'm an Adelaide boy, especially going to High Marsh, playing in front of friends and family. So yeah, when we got the win there, it was great to get my fam friends and family to watch, especially here, they coming here. I think there's traveling quite well, so yeah, it'll be a difficult game. Okay. Yeah, I'm loving it. How can you not like it? It's 30 degrees every single day. So yeah, I'm liking it. I'm just down at Scarborough. So yeah, walk to the beach. A couple, most of the boys aren't even from Perth, like Chris, Dane. So yeah, there's a good bunch of us. Yeah, there's probably a group of us, the interstate boys, I think we stick together. We haven't really got family or friends here. So yeah, we get catch up, go to the beach, go for coffees. So yeah, it's good, good fun. Yeah, good big Daryl. When he comes out of the loo, sometimes comes for a coffee. Depends what mood he's in. Yeah, I think they started chanting one. I think it was, uh, who was it? Against Victory? I was trying to listen to what they're saying. I was taking the corner and I stuffed up the corner because I was trying to listen to what they were saying. <laughs> but yeah, I have picked up on it. <laughs> yeah, I like when that one comes out. So I was an Adelaide City boy down in Adelaide. So yeah, I just started playing at a young age and then three, I think you guys would have it in Perth, like skill reuse programs. And then I went to Adelaide United, but then I did my ACL. I did my ACL at 16, so I did it quite a young age. So that was a year gone pretty much, so I went back to Adelaide City, I played first team there for one year, and then I got called back to Adelaide United, from there I just went through the Adelaide United youth team set up the first team, played a few games, and last year I came across to the West, and I'm loving it. Damon was the one after my ACL, like, coming off a year, so I haven't really played much. Damon's the one who took me under his wing, and he brought me into his first team setup, and that's where I pretty much, he I had the opportunity to go back halfway through the season to United, but he said to stay, and I think that was the best thing, playing with men under Damien as well. I loved it, especially being attacker. I think that's where I get most of my technique from in my shooting is probably Damien. Yeah, he was probably a massive influence on my, especially my free kick, shooting, all that. I think Damien taught me a lot there. I think it's like, we're talking today, like in the spa, just chilling in the spa, like Chris said, where are you gonna find this? And, any other job in the world, we're chilling in the spa, go for coffees. So I think we take it for granted. I think it is one of the best jobs in the world. So yeah, to my message to all the young kids coming forward is just work hard and eventually you'll get there and it is the best job in the world.